What do you have for us this trip, Captain? More blubber and whalebone? Not as much as we had hoped, Sir Geoffrey. The days have passed when one could walk Sydney Bay on the backs of whales. That must have made navigation a little difficult. Aye, but it made some folk very rich. What are these? Uh, greenstone. The Maoris mine it. Uh, some kind of jade. Uh, Semi-precious. <sighs> Let's hope so. It's not the most unusual consignment from New Zealand. Your father seems particularly interested in it. Isn't Australia big enough to amuse him? I think you ought to read his letter, sir. Sir Geoffrey Halford? Sir. The image of your gracious father. Welcome to England, Chief Timanahau. Now we feel each other's warmth. This is our custom amongst friends. This is the home, my Tafitsi. Good day, sir. I am honored, sir. Fetu, chaperone to my daughter, Demarama Fitsi Orangi. I understand you wish to meet the Queen. It is the purpose of our visit to greet this woman who is strong enough to command men. <laughs> the season in town does not begin for over a month. Perhaps, meanwhile, you would be so kind to grace me with your presence in the country. We have business in the city, sir. There will be time. We are most honored. The honor is all mine. All mine. in India, sir. With my cavalry regiment, yes. My father taking up the post of governor in Australia meant that I had to interrupt my career somewhat. Derbyshire and domestic duties called. Lord Halford said you gained distinction. Uh, any officer who stayed on his horse achieved that, sir. Drive on! 
I'm afraid we must make a diversion to the railhead. My apologies. The responsibilities of leadership. I shall be interested to see what being a chief here requires. This is hardly the first image of England I would want to show you. And the truth isn't hidden between friends, Sir Geoffrey. Listen, boys. I'll be back. The doctor. I fear it's not safe for you and your party to descend, Chief. to spread, sir, to the villages and to the factories. They've had no local contact. Irish Navy, sir. They keep to themselves. Let's ensure they continue to do so. Sir. Who's this? Lamont, sir. He's their gang leader. And where might you be going? We need a doctor for my men. You are to stay encamped here. We'll bring what medicine we can. Food, clean water. They'll help us. Of course they'll help us. This outbreak must be contained. Contained to the Irish. So you're fencing us in to die? Go back to your fellows. Arms! And if I don't, you shoot me down, right? I applaud your grasp of the situation. Get them provisions, food clean water and anything else they might need. There's precious little we Just can do, Just do sir. it! Look, sir! Madman. Present arms! Fire at will! He's going to shoot him. I would do the same. Go on, shoot him! They're out of range, sir. Damn. Hold on, boys! I'll get a doctor if I have to drag him! After him! Are you deaf? Made of the sickness, sir. Move! Oof. Quickly, follow. Free my people! Oh, you'd best kill me. Oh, one day, I will kill you. Insurrection is a capital offence, my friend. Oh, it's a hanging you got planned now, is it? I think I can trust God with your fate. If you die of cholera, so be it. If you live, we'll try a healthy man. Yeah, it's, uh... Markham, isn't it? Samuel Markham. Pay me a visit, Markham, and bring that with you. Divided tribe against tribe. Need such unity that can only come from strong leadership. And do you not offer that? It's not a matter of offer, but acceptance. That is the nature of mana. 
manner. What is that? It is the unseen hand of authority and influence that rests on those whose destiny is to lead. It is everything. Everything. And this is the library. Really, sir. I shall make this my home. The missionaries had so few books. What they had, she read. And what would you recommend, sir? I have far from discerning taste, ma'am. This was my father's favorite room. And your mother's? I doubt she ever came here. She misses you. As mothers should. Uh, these are from your estate, sir? Yes. You use rifles? I tend to recommend them for wild animals. Rifles? Like the young man had? Alas, no. That would have made the task much easier. The English are fond of hunting. It passes as a religion with us, sir. Well, I might join such a church. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see what I can arrange for you. That would be most interesting. Ah, <laughs> Nicholas Nickleby. A new novel. Something of a rage. I'm sure even Queen Victoria is reading it now. Then I shall read it, if I may. Please, be my guest. 